today is Monday. Um, I missed my plane yesterday. So I had an impromptu day here, an extra day here. Um, I just came back from getting my COVID test. So I wouldn't have, honestly, I wouldn't have been able to leave yesterday anyway. I don't know what the fuck. Honestly, I was, I just, I wasn't on my shit. That's really what it was. I wasn't on my shit. I dropped the ball. And I just had it in my mind. I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna go to the airport and I'm gonna get tested. And, what else? And I'm gonna hop on my plane. What else? And yeah, I'm just gonna do it. I don't care. I dream in color. I got in the airport at 2.22 and my flight left at 3.10. Okay. We're in the room. Okay, I had to hotel it out because Watching some Queen Cup Tarot. <laughs> Watching the Aquarius one. Um, I have a lot of Aquarius in my chart. Today, or last night actually, I watched the Libra one because I'm a Libra moon. And now I'm watching the Aquarius one because there's hella Aquarius in my chart. Um, I think I might watch my rising sign next. The only reason I like, I'm kind of weary about that is because I'm low key a little bit in confusion in regard <laughs> to what my rising sign truly, truly, truly is. I thought for a hot minute that I was a Virgo rising and I had just completely misread my, cause it said that my um, North node was Virgo. And I had, I don't know, I looked up somewhere and something told me that the North node is basically your rising. And that was a lie because when I went back and I went back through like a little bit more recently and I'm reading it because I have some haters who was coming at me like mm, Virgo, I don't know, Virgo rising, mm, you're not giving Virgo rising. I'm like, I get Virgo rising, but it's just cause you know I feel like I have Virgo tendencies. Maybe not. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> when I like went through to like reread my birth chart, <laughs> the most recent time I did, I'm just reading through like oh my gosh, like reading more in depth, and then I get to this paragraph that's like, so your ascendant is in Capricorn, and people, <laughs> I'm like, where the fuck was this paragraph? So now I'm, you know, going with the Capricorn Ascendant, but the only reason I'm kind of like, or a Capricorn Rising, but the only reason I'm kind of like, eh, with that is because the birth certificate that I have does not tell me my um, time, like it's a copy. So it's not like the original copy that you get when, you know, we don't have that. So I asked my mom when I was born, you know, upon really getting into this kind of stuff and she told me that she couldn't remember but she said that my she told me that my brother was born at 404 a.m right and my brother's like three years younger than me three four years younger than me so or three and a half years younger than me so you remember his birth time you don't remember mine over the way her brain is set up like she be misremembering stuff like remembering stuff off like she be like that with it so i was like um that's basically the time that i've used for my birth chart this whole time my whole time i've used 404 a.m now upon isan questioning my virgo rising which was me honestly just not reading and i'm like yeah and i was born at 404 a.m and my mom was like mm, are you sure so she was like really you were probably born like around six like six in the morning i know you were born in the morning but i feel like i woke up like around four you were probably born like around six something so so you telling me so you telling me so you telling me you woke up at 4 a.m and then i just popped out within two hours i mean i don't know i don't know but basically i'm saying my ascendant is questionable okay i had this realization today something in my mind just clicked literally i was laying right here in this bed this morning and it clicked Frankincense, y'all. Incense. G. <laughs> the way that shit blew my fucking mind. I'm like. What the? Incense? Oh my god. G. I went on this very intense trek. Hike, whatever you want to call it. Through the Minkin forests. The Minkin Mountains, okay? It was intense. 
I was scared. It was dark. I cried. I don't know how I did it. What I was, I think maybe how I was carrying my bags or something. Whatever happened, I like had like basically broke my necklace. This is the necklace that matters the most to me because my first time buying my amethyst necklace was on my 22nd birthday in New Orleans at the Rock co rock company and something nola rock company the first one was a really big like super raw like if you go to my instagram you, you'll see the original one that i had and it was so beautiful but i went to a haunted house i came back home and the neck the chain was literally on my neck still intact but the stone was gone and i'm like what the fuck i don't even like haunted houses are you telling me it took my fucking stone i'm mad so Whatever, 23rd birthday came around. Um, <laughs> the month of my 23rd birthday came around and I went and I got this one, which is a little bit more, you know, subtle, a little bit more, you know, simple, basic, whatever. And, but this time, on my Meekin Mountain adventure, I broke the chain. I might just untie this, honestly, and put it on here with this, with my aquamarine and my snowflake obsidian. I'm, that's honestly exactly what I'm gonna do, what I'm going to do. So, who, how many people have had cards long enough where it expired and you had to get a new one? My Discover card is the first card I've had that's like expired and I need to get a new one while I'm still using it. Like that's the first card I've ever had with that, ever. My Discover card really shows me like my spending, like you need to chill. So paying that every month just keeps me aware and I'm like, oh. Jesus, girl, all of this in one month? Like, what's wrong with you? And my goal for this year is to end out this year fluent in Spanish because I've just had so many, it's like even with getting my COVID test, like you're doing medical stuff, you know what I mean? Like I wanna be able to communicate with them. I didn't make no appointment, I just walked in, filled my little shit out in English best I could cause Lord knows I could barely understand what they was asking me for. Even though I think I know what symptoms is in Spanish now. <laughs> it's just been a long time coming and I'm very excited to get back to the States and be back in a home environment. And like, I just feel like I've learned a lot here and I'm ready to get back to the States and put everything I've learned about myself, about the world, about just everything into action in a space where I can better navigate and I'm more understanding of how things work. So, so I'm just kind of eager to get back because I... I know so many things now, like I'm so inspired and there's so many things that like I can go see myself doing now in the States, <laughs> be where people speak English, you know? So yeah. Whereas here it's like, I'm kind of limited cause I only know so much. I can't really make a move. Like here, I came back to the hotel simply to look up a place to go eat breakfast. <laughs> Whereas like if I was back home in Atlanta right now, I know it, well, I don't live in Atlanta, but my dad lives in Atlanta. I'm flying into Atlanta. I will be in Atlanta for like a couple of days and then I'm going back home to Houston for like three days. And then I'm going back to home, 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 Chicago for like a week. So, but like my actual, like my, my, my actual space is in Houston. If I was in Atlanta, Houston, or fucking Chicago, I'd know exactly where to go right now. I'd be on my way. I'd be eating right now. I'd be eating right now. And you know how much that COVID test was? Like 30 bucks. Jesus. For me to have to get a last minute, no appointment, no nothing test, and it's only 30 bucks, like, that was perfect. Because I wanted to wake up early and be like one of the first people in line and get it done out the way. So I had it in time for the flight that I'm going to get on today. So I was not trying to go back to a hostel and possibly be sharing a room with anyone. Like, Granted, like when I was at the Ark Noah, like there was no body in the room with me, but I want to say that was maybe the first time that that really happened to me on this whole trip. Like I hear that that happens, you know, that people luck up and that happens all the time, but it's the fact that that was the first time that happened to me on my whole trip here. And I just wasn't in the mood. Like I, I was supposed to be at home. Like right now I'd be at my dad's house in this room in the guest room like just big like just with my own space it'd be bigger than this hotel room right now and i'd just be in there like with a whole bed the night overnight just be relaxing just like watching tv and it's like like this is what i wanted to be doing right now and i'm not <laughs> i am still here and so i was like you know what i'm gonna go get 
pay for a place. I'm not sitting in no hostel no more. We did that. We've been there. I'm not here with that right now. I need me a hotel room. So I came and got me a hotel room. I thought it was going to be 70000 for this room because that's what it said online. However, when she was talking and something about Desayuno being included, I'm thinking she's telling me like breakfast is, you, there's just free breakfast included with the room. No. It's because I said yeah to paying 40000 for an optional breakfast and I'm vegan. They don't even have fucking vegan options down there. Really? $40,000? they are fucking ridiculous. Really? They need their ass beat up in here because $40,000? you all don't even got pancakes. Y'all don't got pancakes. Y'all don't got french toast. All they got is eggs, fruit, and tea and hot chocolate. Bitch! $40,000 cop? T like, bye. I asked them, I'm like, so I'm vegan. Like, I can't eat none of this shit. They like, oh, we got fruit and tea. You think I'm paying $40,000 cop for fruit and tea? That's what you think? You're cute. Um, can I get my money back for the breakfast? No. That's cool. Lesson of the day. Dispute that shit. Oh yeah, my bad. So basically, update. Because it's a boring on a budget episode. I'm so sorry. Yeah, so basically, update. Um, basically, I paid for this room. It was 110,000 cup. Oh, last night, I got me some food from um, Maha Vegan food i think it's called maha vegan food i spent like thirty thousand cop there last night i probably spent like four thousand on buses and again my covid test was one hundred thousand uh colombian pesos so that's basically the money i spent and you have to get your covid test if if you're traveling now you know i don't know if you're watching this like two years from now maybe three maybe covid won't exist and you won't have to worry about that expense but yeah ended up spending two hundred and fifty thousand cop for 11 cigars though um that's like 70 bucks us but i got 11 cigars <laughs> so that should last them Hopefully they aren't some crackheads. And I didn't have to spend that much. The only reason I spent that much because I got a, I wanted to get a variety for them so that they could have like a selection, you know? They had, I think the cheapest cigar I got was 7,000 cop, which is super cheap. Like when I looked at the receipt and I noticed that, I was like, hmm, that's a cheap one. Like, I don't know how great that cigar is going to be, but yeah. So um, I only got one of those though. The other ones I got were like, I got two that were like, 25 no yeah i got like two that were 25 cop i think i got three no no no. i got five that were 25 thousand cop and then i got five that were 15 thousand cop so that's yeah they were pretty inexpensive when i did the math like in us dollars i basically spent six dollars for each cigar i want to show you guys these cigars so that you can see like, i don't know if you can see how thick these cigars are but they're thick as fuck y'all they're so thick this one right here this is the box for this one it's these are esmo esmo i don't know none of this shit means i don't know i don't smoke cigars i don't smoke cigarettes i don't smoke anything Better than natural herb. 